Hey, what's up guys? My name's Ollie Stone. I'm the mechanic for Justin Barsha here. Hey guys, I'm Justin Shanty. Today I'm here with Cameron Camera. Hey guys, I'm Justin Shanty. I work for Monster Energy Kawasaki for Adamson Cirillo number nine. And uh, today I'm gonna show you how to put on the Renthal RC1 Works brake pads. All right, uh, we're down here at the rear brake caliper. We're gonna put on the Renthal RC1 Works uh, rear brake pads today. Um, we're gonna start by taking off the caliper garb that comes on the bike. Uh, that's just an 18 handle. Pop this off of here, and it gives you access to the caliper and the brake pin bolt. Most of the time, you're going to be changing brake pads when you know obviously the brakes are worn out, uh, so they get really thin. So it's going to allow the piston to push out further. So what I like to do before I get started, um, even with the new set of pads, because the spacing is always a little bit different, I'm just going to do a back bleed, I call it, and push the piston um, back into the caliper, so it gives you all the room you need um, back here for to get the pads in. It's way easier than uh, doing like a screwdriver method down the road uh, for this project. All right, after I've uh, done the back bleed here and pushed the caliper in, I'm gonna uh, remove this flat blade um, like jam screw. We'll put that aside. Next up, number five uh, T-handle or a five Allen. Uh, and that's for the, the pin itself. We'll spin it all the way out. And at this point, you just kind of hold onto the pads there is this retention plate here, but it's going to want to shove the pads down so you don't get them kind of wedged in the spokes there. So I'll just take them out. All right, pads are out. Uh, the rental RC1s here going in. I do like to put the back one in first. I'll line it up so I can see through the hanger here and make sure it's in the slot. All right, so I got the back one installed there. I guess I'm going I'm to look through and then the front one get it in the slot and you're just going to hold those. You're going to have to put some upward pressure on these to, to activate that spring that's in there. And then uh, we'll just go reverse order here with the pin. Pin's going in, tighten that up. And then the safety side of it here is this slug uh, type plug here that goes in. It keeps uh, the pin from backing itself out. So they're kind of jammed together inside here. So snug on those. We'll reinstall the caliper guard here. There is an up, up and a down to this uh, guard. I don't think it will fit on the other way, so just be mindful of how you're taking stuff apart. Go slow, you know, write stuff down, take pictures if you need to. Pump your brake back up to get that fluid back in the piston and uh, bring the, the pads back. All right, and there you have it. Uh, that's a proper install of the Renthal RC1 Works rear brake pads. 